On November 27, 1944, a massive explosion rocked the Royal Air Force, or RAF for short, ammunition dump at Fall, Staffordshire, England. The explosion was so powerful that it created a massive crater that measured over 70 feet deep and 350 yards in diameter. The blast was heard over 100 miles away and it was the largest explosion to happen in the UK during World War II. The incident caused significant damage to the surrounding area and claimed the lives of at least 70 persons. Let's start off with events leading up to the RAF fall explosion. During World War II, the RAF fall ammunition dump was one of the largest in the UK and it was used to store a wide range of ammunition including high explosion bombs, incendiary bombs and chemical weapons. The ammunition dump was located in a disused gypsum mine that had been converted into a storage facility. The mine was situated on a hillside overlooking the River Dove and it was protected by a series of blast walls and earth embankments. On the morning of November 27, 1944, the day of the explosion, the RAF fall ammunition dump was being managed by a small team of RAF personnel who were responsible for storing and maintaining the ammunition. The team was led by Flight Lieutenant David McLean, who had only recently taken over the management of this site. At around 10.30 a.m., one of the workers noticed a leak in a 4,000-pound bomb and reported it to McLean. McLean immediately ordered the evacuation of the area around the leaking bomb and requested assistance from the bomb disposal team. However, before the team could arrive, the bomb exploded, triggering a chain reaction that led to a series of explosions throughout the ammunition dump. The explosion was caused by a combination of factors, including the design of the ammunition storage facility, along with the type of ammunition being stored, and of course, human error. One of the key factors contributing to the explosion was the design of the ammunition storage facilities. The RAF fall ammunition dump was located in a disused gypsum mine which had been converted into an ammunition storage facility. This mine was not designed for this purpose and did not have enough ventilation or drainage systems. The lack of ventilation and drainage created a buildup of moisture and condensation which led to the deterioration of the ammunition over time. Another factor contributing to the explosion was the type of ammunition being stored. The ammunition stored at the RAF fall included high explosive bombs, incendiary bombs and chemical weapons. Some of the chemical weapons stored at the site included mustard gas and phosgene, which were highly toxic and could cause significant damage if they were released in the environment. The third factor contributing to the explosion was, of course, human error. The leaking bomb that triggered the explosion was being moved by a worker using a forklift truck. The worker had not been trained to handle bombs and was not aware of the current procedures for moving them. As a result, the bomb was dropped, causing it to leak and leading to the explosion. So what were the consequences of the RAF fall explosion? The Royal Air Force fall explosion had significant consequences for the surrounding areas and the people who lived and worked nearby. The explosion caused extensive damage to the local infrastructure, including bridges, buildings and roads. The blast was felt as far away as Liverpool and caused significant damage to nearby towns and villages, including Tutbury, 
Hanbury and Hatton. The explosion also claimed the lives of at least 70 people, including Royal Air Force personnel, civilian workers, and members of the general public. The explosion also had significant environmental consequences. The blast released large amounts of toxic gas into the environment, including phosgene and mustard gas. The gas caused extensive damage to crops and livestock, and it also contaminated water sources in the surrounding area. The contamination of the water sources had long-lasting effects as the area had to be quarantined for several years until the land and water were deemed safe for usage. The Royal Air Force fall explosion also had a significant impact on the war effort. The ammunition dump was one of the largest in the UK and the loss of ammunition and facilities at the site was a significant blow to the war effort. The explosion led to delays in the production of ammunition and forced the Royal Air Force to rely on other storage facilities for the remainder of the war. One of the significant changes that resulted from the RAF fall explosion was the introduction of new safety regulations for ammunition storage facilities. These regulations required that ammunition storage facilities should be designed and managed in a way that minimized the risk of explosion and other accidents. The regulations also required that ammunition storage facilities should be located aware and away from populated areas to reduce the risk of casualties in the event of an explosion. The worker who dropped the leaking bomb had not been trained to handle bombs and he was not aware of the correct procedures for moving them. As a result, the bomb was dropped, causing it to leak even more and leading to the major explosion. This highlighted the need for proper training and procedures for handling ammunition to minimize the risk of accidents. The Royal Air Force fall explosion also highlighted the dangers of storing chemical weapons in civilian areas. This release of mustard gas and phosgene caused extensive damage to crops and livestock, contaminating the water sources in the area. This led to changes in the way that chemical bombs were stored and managed, with a greater emphasis on safety and environmental protection.